Welcome to Betty Healthy Kitchen. Today we are going to prepare something special. The speciality that we have today is okra. This okra we are going to prepare using garlic. The garlic and ginger have already mashed here. We also have already prepared onions. coriander and then apart from that one we also have this chili and the ingredients that i'm going to use we have coconut cream with the coconut cream i also have coconut oil this is um, vegetable salt a little bit of himalaya salt also and this one, the curry powder. This is one special meal that many don't know about because most of the time people make only okra alone. This is our kitchen and these are what that we are going to use to prepare our mixed meat okra meal for today i've just decided to fry the meat first just a little bit not so much you see my fire is good then after that i'm going to remove it from this pan and then i put the onions garlic now you have to put the onions first the onions have to not to overcook, meaning that they are not supposed to be brown in color. Or you can make them just a little bit brown, but they should not burn. Then we are going to take our garlic and ginger that had already been smashed. And then we put it inside the pan. And as I told you, it is coconut, so I use a little bit of coconut oil. I just don't use so much because I had already used some cooking fat. You can add a little bit more. And then I have to take now my curry. You can see the bubbles. That means that the coconut oil is cooking. A little bit of curry, not so much. put it on the side so that I may not reuse it. And then we have our vegetable salt. Because we're making vegetable, we need to use something vegetable. That's enough. Put it on the side. Then after that, we take the coconut oil, the coconut cream, sorry. You put the coconut cream. You stir it 
properly. I always like to use this because it always makes my pan clean. We're going to put in our okra. Now it looks a little bit slimy because it was washed before. It has to stay. It stayed some for some time before preparation. Now this is the meat that I had fried before. I fried it before because I didn't want to put it in the cop okra when it was still raw. Our cop okra is cooking well, as you can see. And then we have our red chili. Now this chili is very very hot so you have to be very very careful when you are using it otherwise you spoil your recipe. As you can see I'm using hand gloves now these are the normal kitchen hand gloves and this one also helps to protect my hands from something like chili so that when I finish using or when I finish cooking my hands will be not will not be paper hot. And apart from that it is always advisable to use hand gloves in the kitchen when you're cutting the onions when you're preparing the garlic and things like that. Our okra is cooking, so as you can see, it is not doing bad. We have to spread the chili evenly also in the, in the okra. Otherwise, some part of it is going to be very hot for some people to eat. Going on. And then, just to finish up, we have fresh coriander. Normally coriander is put or is used lastly after the food is ready. So you just cut them into small pieces. I can even smell the aroma. And then you come and spread it also evenly on top of the food. Now I can even remove the gloves because I don't need them anymore. Whatever that I wanted to use for the chili, the coriander, I've already cut them, the, the onions and the rest. This is our coconut curry okra. Just a little bit of the Himalaya uh, uh, salt, sorry. Just a little bit of it, not so much. Otherwise, you spoil your recipe. And as you can see, our okra is ready. Just about 10 minutes. You don't overcook it, otherwise, you're going to lose the
the value of that ochre. Thank you very much for those who have watched. I wish you have learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more videos and for more recipes to come.